Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Scott and today I'm going to be showing you how to install a custom cell phone holder as well as a wireless charger from ProClip USA on my C7 Corvette. So guys, I don't know about you, but I have always wanted to be able to have something that would look nice when I have when I put my cell phone in the car and it would hold it really nice. And all these aftermarket brackets and stuff, I just didn't like them. I didn't want want something going and clip it onto my vent, you know, and, and then also that gets in the way, can't have my air conditioner work, you know, that type of stuff. So I just never did put one in. Um, and I always ended up using a USB charging cord, you know, that goes into the phone, plugs in the cigarette lighter, and so you just got these cords here that are just flopping around. And then I came across a, a company called ProClip USA, and they make a custom bracket for a lot of different cars. Now, I'm just showing you the Corvette, the C7 today, and this bracket kit fits 2014 through 2019, so it's, you don't have to worry about that. This is the bracket itself. It's designed to uh, clip onto the old crap handle that the passenger uses. It goes right in between here. This bottom clip goes right in between where the two uh, covers for that handle clamp together. So it catches that and then it comes up and it catches up on the top edge. It is not going to hurt the material. It's not going to hurt your car. You decide you want to take this off after the fact not a problem it's not going to leave a mark okay comes with this comes with a swivel mount that will actually get screwed onto here and we'll show you that in the video as well as the wireless charging pad that's actually slides onto this swivel part and then it plugs into a cigarette lighter adapter with the USB on it plug it in you're good to go so at that point it comes with two different ways of being able to mount it to your phone. It comes with a bracket for mounting it one to the phone itself with a cover and one without the cover. So, um, you know, it, it's uh, very, very simple to do uh, and I'm going to be showing you how to go about doing all that. Um, it also comes with the little wedge that you're going to need and I'll show you that in the video on how this is used. But basically when this bracket gets swung around and it comes up to the very top, there's another seam that it has to go through, right between where the plastic and the, the leather of your of the, what we call a bat wing on the, on the top part of the dash. It has to be separated just a little bit for this to get into that gap. So we're going to push this in and it's going to separate just a little bit. It'll pop in place. We're good to go. Okay. So um, at this point, uh, Go ahead and uh, just sit back and watch, and I'm going to show you how to do it, okay? Okay, guys, we're in the car, and what we've got is we've got our custom mount here, and what we're going to do is we're going to be hooking it onto this post, or the, the old crap handle here, and uh, you're going to see when you get into your car that there is a little plastic clip right here and that's what kind of supports and hides all the screws inside here. Well, there's a seam that runs up and down in the back side here, inside. And um, so what you're going to be able to do is you're going to take this leading edge here on this bracket, and hopefully both cameras are picking this up here, um, and we're going to take that and we're going to put it right in the middle here. You'll, you're going to be able to feel that seam. It's very easy. You can see that it's sliding up and down in that seam right there. And all we're doing is we're going to go all the way up to the top where it doesn't go up anymore. Okay. Then we're going to take our our little tool, our little spreading tool, and we're just going to put it right in between here, in between the plastic. Now I've carbon fibered mine, so it doesn't look. Yours probably is still the uh, the brushed aluminum look. So you'll just be going in between the brushed aluminum and the fabric to spread this upper pillar apart just a little bit so you can actually get this bracket to clip up and over the edge. So that's all we're going to do here. We're just going to lift that up like that. You can see how easy that was. And then we're just going to pull this out. Okay. At that point, that gold guy is in there. And that's that's nice and tight. It's not it's not getting in the way of anything. I mean, you can see here I'm going to hold the the camera or the my uh, my phone up when we go to do it, it, look at that. I mean, it's going to be like way out of the way of everything. 
It's just really cool. So, okay, so now what we got here is our next thing we have to do is this is actually the custom bracket itself, okay? And what we're gonna do here in order, we've gotta be able to screw this onto the bracket. So we've got four screws that are supplied and in order to do that, we've got to take this, got to take this loose. Now the instructions say to go ahead and take the screw all the way out. So I'm going to do that. Now I don't think you have to. If you just want to loosen it up, you'll be able to do this so you can rotate it around and you could get to each one of the screws if you wanted to. Okay. But um, this way it's just kind of, kind of out of the way. And it's just a few more turns of the screwdriver. Not a big deal to be able to take this loose. Okay, and it just pops loose like that, and then you'll be able to adjust it. Now, depending on how you want to orientate your phone, you'll be able to, or with the swivel, you'll be able to orientate it all the different directions. But on we're doing it, we're gonna do it like this. Okay, so I've got my, my handy dandy screwdriver here. We're just gonna screw these little guys down. like that. And I like to start my screws, start all of them before I tighten them all down. Just makes it where I'm not uh, making one over tight or it doesn't line up exactly. You could have put this bracket on um, before you put it in the car. Um, it wouldn't have hurt anything. That's okay. You could have clipped it on there, not a problem. But I'm wanting to do it in the in the order. Just like that. So we're on there, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this little guy back in. Now you'll get to the point where this is, um, this gets nice and snug here in a second. Now you're going to want to be able to have a little bit of movement in it. Unless you just don't care, but I would, I'm going to want mine just a little bit so I can rotate it. If I need to, I can turn the phone around um, for whatever reason. I probably will never do this, but I always like to be able to have that as an option. So this will also come to play a part when I go to do the wiring on this, on whether or not, here in a second, we're going to clip this on. And um, if we don't leave ourselves enough wire up over here, then we could very well end up not being able to turn this. So, so I want to make sure that we do. Okay, so now that once we've got the swivel point done, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to take the what they call the magic mount. And this is the charger with the magnets in it. So we're just going to go ahead and put this on. There's a little tab right here. We're going to slide that on so like that. And we're going to push down. And it's going to lock into place. Now at that point, we can swivel it around and turn however it needs to go, however you want to position this on for your phone right there. Okay. So now the the probably the most tricky part of this whole thing, which I don't really think is too tr too tricky, but is making this look nice. Now there's a million different ways of going about doing it, and um, you know you can. I've I've already figured out that I can take take this little guy and I can just basically give myself a little bit of room here okay so then if I need to turn it I'll be able to turn it so I'm gonna go like so get it like that that's enough room to be able to turn the cable but it will also stays nice and tucked away so nobody's gonna see it and it tucks right up against this wall when um, 
uh, when I'm not, okay? So, so basically, this little wall here, this little handle, will actually push out just enough that you can get this to go tucked down in and then around. And then at that point, you can run right up alongside here and then up inside to the cigarette lighter. You can get more fancy if you want to, and you could tie it into a, you know, go underneath and run wires back to the fuse box and all that stuff. Um, I don't really, really foresee the need of it. If I can tuck it around behind where I'm not seeing wire coming out here, it's going into the glove box from behind the seat, I'm good with that. So that would be a matter of preference for you guys. Okay, so all I'm going to do here, I'm going to try to get myself a little bit of leverage here. and. I'm just gonna push this out, just like so, with my fingers. Okay. And that, now you guys won't have as big of a problem, this wasn't that hard, but you guys won't have the, any issue at all. This is actually got, like I wrapped this in the carbon fiber vinyl wrap uh, over here, so it's a little bit thicker than yours will be, okay? So, if you don't have that on there, it won't be a big deal, okay? It's like so. Now, hopefully you can see that. That's tucked down, it's nice and neat. And um, so that's nice and good. Okay, so at that point, and I'm gonna see if I can try to get my head out of the way so the, the GoPro can actually see this. But I'm gonna just tuck this down over like so, and over. So you can see that it is coming down right over here, okay? So guys, once we've got it mounted like that, we ran the wire down the side and we brought it right over to there and then right up, let's see if I can film all this up, it's going right up the center console there, okay? And then it tucks in and comes right out right there. And then it goes underneath and goes into the center console under the cover. Let me see if I can get that open so you guys can see it. Then at that point, it goes right there like so and plugs into the cigarette lighter. Now if you choose to be able to do this a little more custom, you can, that's not a problem. You could, uh, there's various different ways you could do this. You could get a, um, you could, you know, go to the fuse box, run a, a, another USB cable down and plug this in somewhere else. So you're not having to use the socket. Uh, there's a million different ways to do this, uh, but this is probably the most simple and fast. Only, you know, you were talking 15 minutes to get all this done. But if you wanted to, you could, you know, go through the whole thing and and wire it up. So uh, the possibilities are endless. But anyway, at this point, for my intents and purposes, being able to show you guys how it's done, we are all set. So now the only thing else that we have to do, which I'm going to take this back out to um, out on top of the hood here uh, on the towel, is to go ahead and put the stickers uh, that has the magnets um, on the phone so we can actually mount it. Otherwise, but as far as wiring and everything, we're done. So it's very, very simple. Okay, so we're back out here. We're going to go ahead and put the, the magnets on the cover because I'm going to put them on the cover. You could elect to go ahead and take the cover off so those of you that don't use covers, um, you could pull your phone out of the cover. And this little guy right here, the solid piece, is designed to go onto the back of the phone. Okay, like kind of like that. And it comes with a template, so you would adjust it. And it shows iPhone and uh, Samsung and all that type of stuff. So depending on which phone you have, you would just bring that template down to the bottom of the, uh, the, the line here. And you would line it up. So okay, whatever whatever height you need, you set the the template, and then you stick the sticker down. Okay, on this one, this one already has the template built into it, and we're only actually going to be using these two magnets. Okay, so what we end up with on this one, let me put my phone back in my case, um, is that we're going to take some alcohol. It's like so, and it comes with the alcohol swab. Okay, and we're just going to wipe it down, just like so. Okay, and then, wow, I, f 
case was dirty. All right, so we're gonna let that dry for a second. And I've already already known that it says Note 8, which is the very bottom one, which that's the phone I have. I have already checked with, uh, with ProClip because I know I'm gonna be getting a Note 10 here soon. And um, the Note 10 and the Note 8, the sizing is the same. So uh, this unit will work for the Note 10 also. I don't think that's on their website yet, but I did talk to uh, tech support about that and it won't be any problem if you're using a 8, 9, or 10. They're all all the same. So so anyway, while that's drying, we're almost there. We're just going to we're just going to pull the the stickies loose here. Okay. Just like so. So if you have better nails than I do, it won't be a problem. Okay, now on the way this happens to work, right, I've already looked at it, where this sticker's gonna have to go, or this magnet's gonna have to go is right below the lip here. And, but you'll just line yours up, okay? It's like so. And I'm gonna put mine down like that. And there we go. And you're just gonna press and hold it. Just like that. And at that point, you can just bend this up. Come on. There we go. Just pulling up the case with it. It's stuck on there really, really well. So you can see there, they're not very obtrusive. I mean, they don't take a lot. Let's see if we can get it up to the camera. I know it's black on black. There you go. Maybe you can see. You can see right there. I've got them a little off-centered, but I did that on purpose. So um, I wanted to make sure that my uh, my kickstand here that I have would actually still continue to work. So I didn't want it getting pinched. So that's why it's off to the side a little bit. But at that point, we should be good to be able to go ahead and uh, put it in the car. We're going to test it out. Okay, guys, we're back in the car. We've got our magnets on the back of our on our phone. Now all we're going to do here is we're just going to go ahead and we're going to put this up here on the bracket. Okay. Now it doesn't charge anything. It's not on there nice and tight, but we haven't turned the accessories on in the car because the cigarette lighter doesn't come on until we turn the, start the car or turn the accessories on. So we're going to turn the accessories on like so. And then the phone should start to charge here in just a second. And there it goes. It's going into wireless, wireless charging. So at that point, we've got our bracket on, phone's nice and tight here, it's not going anywhere, and it's charging the phone. So at that point, you would, uh, you know, when you're done, you're done driving, you're typically going to take your phone with you, right? Um, so you're going to shut off, shut the car off, and then you're going to take the phone with you, and with it being shut off, with the... Uh, with this going dead with with the um, cigarette lighter, you're not going to have any parasitic drain on the car. We all know that there's so much juice being sucked out of this car that um, you want to do it this way so it'll go off with the key. Uh, other than that, I think that pretty much does it. So hopefully, um, hopefully that worked for you and that uh, you think this is as cool as I do because this is something that I have really been looking to do for a long time. With this bracket, it makes it really, really cool. As you can see here, this is this is the phone orientated this way, but like I said, by doing the wiring like I showed you where you give a little bit of gap here, we can actually turn this whole thing. It's like that. And we can orientate it like that. And that thing is nice and tight. So it makes it really cool so you still have that. Even in the turned mode, you can see here there's nothing blocked. Cup holders still work. Still get to this cigarette lighter. Gear shifter's fine. You can still get to all the controls here. It doesn't block this screen at all. So it, there's, it's not in the way in any way, shape, or form. It just, it just works. And this has been long waiting the whole time I've had this car. I never put one on because I just didn't have one that I thought would work well. This one works great. So guys, hopefully you found this video helpful and informative. And when it comes time that you want to do your custom phone holder in your Corvette, check out ProClip USA. They'll be able to help you 
not just with your Corvette, they do it with a whole bunch of different cars, so they'll have the bracket for you. Now, as a little bit of a drawing, I should say, or something to be able to get back to you guys a little bit today, they had sent me a extra large t-shirt. Um, as you can see here, I didn't want to unwrap it because this way I'll be able to send it to you guys. But I want to hear what your thoughts are. You've seen me install it. I want to know what you guys think. I'll put some pictures of it, you know, just some snapshots to be able to let you see what it looks like just in the car. But you saw how simple it was to install. And I'm just curious of what you guys think. I mean, give me some feedback, you know. Um, I think it's really cool. I'm going to be ordering another one for Jennifer's car. Um, mine's kind of the, the guinea pig, you know, per se, but uh, she totally thinks it's cool. Um, and I just think it's, it's just a really good product. I mean, it was, it's very strong, very durable. Um, you can tell it when you're holding on to it, that it's just a good piece of, uh, good bracket, you know what I mean? It's just not flopping around, so you know it's a good quality product. So, like I said, do me a favor, leave a comment below, tell me what you think about it, good or bad, just tell me if you guys have had any, uh, if you guys already have one, you like it, you don't like it, tell me about it, let me know, okay? That's what this whole thing is about, to be able to let you guys know how to install it, but then whether or not you like it, you know? I mean, because some of you guys, I mean, I'm just, oh, I've been doing this stuff for a little over a year. There's a lot of stuff that you guys have probably already saw and said, yeah, I like that, that's great. Other stuff, you know, man, I've never touched that in the world. But let me know, because like I said, I think that this was well worth it. Um, I think total with the charger and the the, um, the bracket and everything was about $99 somewhere in that ballpark. I don't have the exacts with me, but it was right around 100 bucks. okay? Uh, but to not have those wires running around uh, and, it, and my phone flopping around, I, I think it's great. So anyway, uh, let me know in your comments. I will then go ahead, uh, I figure I'll wait, wait a week, and then we'll go ahead and we'll do a, a random drawing um, based off your comments. So that's how you get to order or get into the contest to win it. Um, all you got to do is subscribe. It doesn't cost you nothing to do that. So subscribe, leave a comment, you're good to go. All right. So hopefully you found this helpful and informative. Like I said, if it did, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button. We're climbing, but I want to see us climb more. Um, and I've got other, uh, other manufacturers and vendors that are telling me, hey, you get more more subscribers and we're going to be able to do more for you so that would just be really really cool that we can do that i can bring more video to you um so you know guys help me out i know you guys are watching i i, I see over twenty thousand people are actually watching the channel but only 37 3750 people have subscribed and i understand part of it with you having to have a google account you know uh, if you don't have one, you know, you got to subscribe to get one and then or you got to get the Google account to be able to subscribe. I know that's a pain in the butt, but man, I tell you what, it would really, really help me if you did. So I'd appreciate it um, if, you know, those of you that are, uh, you know, up in my age bracket and you just, you know, man, I don't want to deal with that. I know you guys have got to have kids, you got to have grandkids. They are all savvy to all this stuff. They'll be able to help you, okay? I mean, mine are always helping me with stuff. So just, uh, you know, just ask them, hey, you know, uh, hey, granddaughter, hey, grandson, will you do me a favor, sign me up for a Google account, and that way I can subscribe. We have a lot of, a lot of uh, teenagers that are actually watching us. Uh, I've noticed that uh, I'm getting people, as I do filming out here in the garage, uh, people drive by, they see the cars, they recognize the cars out there, and they stop me. And so um, I actually have quite a few people in this area right here in my neighborhood that have recognized me and said, hey, uh, you know, I saw you on YouTube, and I go, well, did you, you know, did you subscribe? And they're like, well, no, I haven't subscribed yet. Well, go subscribe. I, you know, they, they watch me, they just haven't subscribed because they didn't want to deal with the Google stuff. So, so anyway, if you wouldn't mind, I would really appreciate it. Anyway, um, hopefully you guys had a great turkey day um, where, uh, and, you know, where we give thanks for everything. Uh, I'm very, very thankful. This year was a really, really good year. Um, I've had uh, quite a success with uh, with the YouTube channel. It's grown so much. 
um, only because of you guys. You know, thank you. Those of you, the, the, you know, the, my my sponsors that are watching, thank you. Uh, I couldn't do this without you guys. Um, having having the, the three different Corvettes that I'm trying to do all these different things to, um, one, I couldn't afford to do it all. Um, and um, number two, you know, it's it's just nice to be able to have that support, you know. So so from from the vendor side, from from the viewer side, you guys, thank you so much. Hopefully you had a great Thanksgiving, and we'll talk to you later. Thank you for watching the Corvette channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe.